Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for HNO3. We know that the atoms around the nitrogen are going to spread out as far as they can in accordance with valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. And we can see that there are three things bonded to that central nitrogen. So it would make sense that they would spread out in something like a trigonal planar molecular geometry. But let's use the AXN notation just to make sure. A, that's the central nitrogen. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to the central nitrogen. There are three oxygens bonded to that central nitrogen. We'll put a three here. The hydrogen is not bonded to the nitrogen. It's bonded to the oxygen. We're going to ignore that. N, that's the number of unbonded electron pairs. Well, all of the electron pairs around the nitrogen are involved in chemical bonds, so we can just forget about N. You could have memorized that AX3 is trigonal planar, or if you have a table available, you can look it up. So when we look at our table, we see AX2, and then right below it is AX3, which is trigonal planar with bond angles of 120 degrees. So the molecular geometry for HNO3 is trigonal planar. If we look at that in three dimensions, it'll look like this. We have the nitrogen in the center, these are the oxygens in red here, and then our hydrogen is in white. You can see the three oxygens are spread out as far away as they can from each other and that they're in the same plane. The bond angles right here, right here, and right here are 120 degrees. So that's the molecular geometry or shape for HNO3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.